Hi, first grade. Okay, so today I am going to be doing a video over Lost Co Cave. You guys should have already watched uh, The Cave Painter, which is a lovely story based on um, Lost Co Cave. And you should have been through a explanation of what Lost Co Cave is. Okay, so you guys should have already seen that. I'm gonna show you how to make our project for today. We're gonna to be kind of making our very own little cave wall. Um, today, well, let me adjust my camera a little bit so you guys can see more of our stuff here. Um, there are some things that you're going to need for this. So I have uh, on this tablet here, I have a handout that I'm gonna give you and it's a template of all the different animals so you can look at those animals up close and personal. And then I have some rock colored paper and then I have some crayons. Now these are very specific crayon colors in the, um, in the PowerPoint that you guys saw or the slideshow that you guys saw. He talked about the natural paint that uh, people during that time would have used, used to paint on the cave walls. Uh, and so we try to stick with those colors for our assignment today. So we have white, um, we have uh, orange, brown, yellow, like a peachy color, red and black, okay? Now uh, with this red, I would have prefer that we not do any like fangs or dripping blood or things like that because that's not really a uh, time period appropriate they didn't do anything like that uh, that's not what they did okay so on our cave wall here that I have started the first thing that we want to do is we want to make sure we put our name on our paper that's always really important so I'm going to put Miss Barnhill on that doesn't really matter what you put it in as long as it's not a marker or a sharpie or anything like that. Okay, and turn it back over and we're going to do something that you are probably not going to be used to, but we're going to make this look like rock. And in order to do that, we're going to crumple our paper here. I know some of you are going to get kind of upset by this and it's really going to wreck your whole day because you like to keep your paper nice, but the whole trick is we want this to look like rock and rock has lots of bumps and cracks and squiggles and it, maybe even some tears. So it's okay if you get some little tears in the side of your paper. What I don't want you to do is I don't want you to like rear back and slam your hands together, okay? That's just being pretty unnecessarily rough with the paper. See, I got a little hole right here. That's fine, you know, that makes it all more realistic for the rock. Okay, once you're done, go ahead and smooth that out. I would only do this for about 30 seconds or so. I would not do it for too awful long. Once we're done here, I am going to use a pencil. Um, once I have a pencil, I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna draw some of the animals that we saw. And remember to look at those um, templates. Thank you. Remember to look at those templates that should be handed out to you. All right. so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw some quick animals. Um, and there was a lot of different animals in the cave of the bulls, but one that you particularly are, sorry, uh, the cave of Lasco, uh, there's a section there called the hall of the bulls. And there's a lot of bulls in there or cows. That's another way to, you know, uh, it's a male cow and so I can draw those mine's looking more like a goat but that's fine there was also things like deer you might have recognized and there was um, some like mammoths or water buffalo And it's okay if yours doesn't look like mine. I kind of hope it doesn't right at this moment. It's not my favorite thing I've ever done, but that's okay. Okay, 
okay? Maybe we'll maybe we'll turn this into a deer. I'll do some horns on this. That might be better. It's kind of ending up more deer-like anyhow. You guys do whatever you want. I'm gonna make a much smaller head there. Okay, so I have a, a deer here. Now, they had a, a, what is called a Chinese horse. Um, I don't know why they call it that. Uh, it's just the classification of that particular type of horse that they see in those caves. But they were really, really pudgy. If you'll notice, they had really round stomachs and that's fine. So we can add that. I'm gonna add that horse in there. Add some a tail and a mane. And that horse was yellow, if you saw that. And then I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add a handprint because those are other things that you saw. And if you need help, ask a partner next to you to help you trace over your hand because that's definitely something that happens, okay? And I can draw stick figures because that's something else we saw. Um, please be careful that you don't add like bow and arrows to this or anything like that because uh, that would be a weapon and we're not allowed to do that in school. So make sure that you're not doing that. And I add some people here. They just had a... Uh, a bull's head in one of the pictures. So I'm gonna do that. There, that looks a little more like a cow. I was having some trouble there for a while, which is fine. Okay, so I'm gonna keep adding some animals. Uh, you can see kind of what we were doing. There was also like little gazelle, which were kind of cool. And they have like straight up antlers and they're very tiny. So I could add some gazelle here. And it's okay, like I said, it's okay if yours doesn't look like mine. But I'm gonna fill in all my spots. Um, I'm not gonna run you through that because I wanna make sure that you guys have time to do the next step, which is outline these. I'm gonna grab a black, I just dropped mine. So I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, that's a blue, whoops. I'm gonna grab a black. It's okay if you have a little piece, little pieces of crayons color just as well as the others do. And we're gonna use these colors here and we're gonna make our animals. Don't be afraid that your animal doesn't look as accurate. Uh, they definitely did not depict completely accurate animals, okay? So I'm gonna take my black here and I'm gonna go over my pictures and outline them. That was a deer. We're gonna do the fat horse. And they believe, uh, some scientists believe that the reason why they drew them so fat is they wanted really fat horses to come by so they could eat them. Uh, most of the animals that are depicted on the cave walls in like the cave of Lasco are all food animals, okay? Uh, they believe that, you know, that was kind of what they were hoping would happen. They would have a whole bunch of uh, animals for food, okay? They, it was kind of like a dream for them. They could dream up the food, all right? So I'm gonna put some people in here. And their people, they had sticks, I think. They had sticks. It didn't look like spears to me, so it just we're just gonna call them walking sticks, okay? And then I'm gonna outline my handprint here, which they believe those handprints were kind of like a I was here or a signature, okay? My little gazelle. If I had more time, like I didn't have to give you guys time, I would probably make a little herd of gazelle much more, okay? So. Once you're done, we're gonna add some of our colors on here. The horse was, I had, was yellow with a white stomach, I remember. I liked that color contrast in there. And 
And then I'm gonna leave my people back and white. Oh, I'm gonna color my deer brown. Make sure you're coloring completely. I am rushing because I wanna give you guys the most amount of time possible. I can even speed this up maybe in your video. Okay. Do a little gazelle. Put a white belly and chest on that gazelle. And then, ooh, I think I'm gonna outline my hand in also red. I think that would look cool. And we're just making our cave drawing. I'm gonna make my bull's head here be red, maybe some brown. To make it a little more rustic in color. But don't be afraid to experiment and try different things. And once you have your paper filled, you can then will be done for this particular assignment. Okay? All right. I will see you guys next time. Bye.